And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November 22nd. Once again, no tropical systems are active today on the worldwide map on day 326 of the year, leaving us yet again with 87 storms that have formed so far this year, leaving us five away from the yearly average of 92 storms per year, and that number of 87 does not seem to be increasing anytime soon. Day 174 of hurricane season in the Atlantic. Once again, the no storms active graphic is up and running as there is no activity expected here within the next five days. Now, it remains to be said that eight days are left of hurricane season for this year. And it's a, the similar story in the East Pacific on day 190 of hurricane season. Once again, eight days are left of hurricane season in this part of the world, but there are no storms active in this part of the world. And like I said just now, just over a week remains of hurricane season over here. Over in the West Pacific, it is also fairly quiet here as, yet again, there are no storms active, no storms, no invests, no areas of interests, no nothing. 93A is at the end of its run as it now has a 0% chance of formation after quite an erratic path through the Arabian Sea. Now, hopefully, this part of the world, like the rest of the Northern Hemisphere, returns to quiet times. The area of interest over in the southwest Indian Ocean continues to persist as we've upped the formation chances from 10% to 20% for the next five days. And 90S has had its chances gain some traction with it now being a 30% chance of formation in five days. We will continue to keep an eye on this system as it develops. Nothing is active in the South Pacific, uh, it's still warming up over here. Jumping into the satellite imagery for the Atlantic, once again, there really isn't that much to report here apart from the odd thunderstorm activity and what looks to be an extratropical system, but this is not an area of interest, so there is nothing to worry about here. The East Pacific still remains pretty quiet yet again with not a lot of any activity of any kind going on over in this part of the world. The West Pacific is still remains fairly quiet, still not a lot of activity. There's a great big cloud mass uh, heading over Japan, which looks fairly frontal if you ask me. Elsewhere, nothing really uh, active. There's not even a lot of cloud cover. 93A is not even traceable on satellite, it is completely gone in this part of the world. And like I said before, hopefully this part of the world returns to its quiet times. 90S remains out and about in the Australian region, with its chances of formation, excuse me, being up to 30%. Now, like I said before, we will keep a very close eye on this system as it develops. And the South Pacific yet again still remains devoid of any tropical activity. However, there looks to be an extra tropical system uh, active northwest of New Zealand's North Island. Uh, once again, this is not an area of interest, so do not get your hopes up. Jumping into the sea surface temperatures, the West Pacific still remains largely 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, the Bay of Bengal registering 28 degrees Celsius, the Arabian Sea registering around 27, 28 degrees, uh, the tropical Atlantic remaining at 28, but it is cooling down, the Gulf of Mexico with temperatures yet again in the low 20s along the, the coastline of the United States. Uh, the tropical eastern and central Pacific remaining around 27 degrees Celsius, however, 
uh, just offshore of Mexico remains with 28 degrees. And the southern hemisphere is warming up with off the coast of nor off the northern coast of Australia, excuse me, still reaching temperatures of around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. And the southwest Indian Ocean remains largely around 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, you, I just want to point out, you can even see the La Nina on this map. Jumping into the sea surface temperature anomalies, the eastern and central Pacific both remain cooler than average, but the west coast of Mexico remains above average, but not by a long shot. The La Nina is still in full effect, it looks to be strengthening as well, bits of incredibly below average temperatures there. Uh, the Atlantic still remains pretty much above, the West Pacific also remains warmer than average, the Bay of Bengal is also above average, but the Arabian Sea is mostly at or below average. And the Southwest Indian Ocean also remains mostly above average, the South Pacific remains half above and half below due to the, the uh, La Nina that you can see on your screen right now. On this day, today in 2005, our main feature was Cyclone Bertie, which was peaking today as a Category 4 equivalent cyclone before its passage across the 90 degrees east line and being renamed Bertie Alvin. Elsewhere, the Atlantic, the season wasn't quite over yet as subtropical storm Delta was out and about. And that brings us to the name, the next names in the naming lists. For, uh, first up on the auxiliary list for the Atlantic is Adria followed by Braylon. Up next in the Eastern Pacific remains Vivian followed by Waldo. And you really do not need me to say this again. Up next in the Central Pacific for two years now is Hone. Up next in the West Pacific on list four remains Nieto followed by Rai. Up next in the North Indian Ocean is Jawad, followed by Asani. First up in the Australian region is Paddy, followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian Ocean is Anna, followed by Batserai. And finally, up next is in the South Pacific, excuse me, is Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.